Ah yes, yet another one of million videos that explains bubble sort. Anyway, welcome to mine. Bubble sort is one of the simplest sorting algorithms out there. And here's the code for it. Let's have this array of numbers pass to our bubble sort, which is going to manipulate this array in a way that it will be storing the numbers in a non-decreasing order. We'll have these indices in place so that it's easier for us to track the values of i and j. On the first line of the function, we initialize i with 0, and then on the next, we initialize j with 0, and then enter the loop. In each iteration of this inner loop, we compare the consecutive elements. If the current one be greater than the next, we swap. So, the elements in consideration right now, 3 and 9. 3 is definitely not greater than 9, so we just leave it at that, and then increment j. 9 and 8. 9 is greater than 8, so they're swapped. 9 is greater than 4, they're swapped as well. Again, 9 is greater than 1, they're swapped too. Now we have come to the end of this inner loop. We go to the outer one and increment i. j will now come back to 0, and then we repeat the process, but only until the element 1 before the last, and on the next one, until 1 before this because in every iteration of the outer loop we're going to place the biggest number of the remainder of the array in its right place that don't need to be considered in the next iteration and hence we have that size minus i minus 1 as the condition this moment can be compared to that of water bubbles rising to the surface they stop moving when they reach the surface the surface here is the rightmost end of the array and the bubbles are like the numbers. In each iteration of the outer loop, we bubble up the biggest number of the remainder of the array to sit at the rightmost end. And that's where the name comes from. And then we do this until we run out of all the iterations. For greater than one, they're swapped, end of the inner loop, increment i, reset j, three greater than one, uh, swap them, uh, we again reach the end of the inner loop, also the outer loop now, uh, we end up with a sorted array. What if we had an array of numbers like this? We know that in bubble sort, in one iteration of the outer loop, we will be placing the biggest element in the rightmost place. So, in one iteration of the outer loop, we'd be done sorting this uh, array, right? But the current version of our function will still run those extra iterations in this case. What changes could be made uh, to bubble sort to overcome this? That was it for this one. Thanks for sorting.